Good evening, this is Sarah Break, and you're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa affirmed that the United Nations has always been and will always be an embodiment of noble goals that the international community has agreed upon in an effort to uphold the principles of joint coordination and mutual understanding as well as respecting international law against all threatening global stability. He also has stressed that the world is currently experiencing a period of unstable political, security and economic circumstances, in addition to the increasing dangers of terrorism, which commands the development of joint action as well as maintaining the security and stability of the world order. The Prime Minister also added that it is the UN's responsibility to preserve its ideals, especially the principles of sovereignty and immunity of countries, which would guarantee the stability of international relations. He called upon the international community to undertake take advanced measures in order to diffuse tension and relieve people's suffering in countries that experience wars and conflict, in addition to assisting countries to steer their capabilities towards further development. In a message addressed to the international community on the occasion of United Nations Day, which will be celebrated tomorrow, His Royal Highness warned against the retreating role of the UN in treating crisis and opposing war con inflicted in various territories that would only endanger human life, as well as expose them to the dangers of trafficking and immigration. His Royal Highness urged the international society to create plans that would maintain countries' safety and stability, particularly those in a state of war where thousands of innocent people get murdered. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is keen on supporting and committing to the rules of joint international action that is based on mutual respect, which brings people together, maintains peace, and helps achieve justice, sustainable development, and the noble goals of the UN. The Prime Minister affirmed the importance of celebrating this occasion as it sheds light on the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of 2030 approved by the UN in 2015. His Royal Highness called the international community to use this occasion as a chance to renew its commitment to the noble goals of the UN and for it to join efforts with the UN in order to maintain peace and stability. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met at Rafah Palace the newly appointed Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Shayaplan Bumrum Fung. His Royal Highness highlighted the development of Bahraini Thai relations, noting the role of Thailand in supporting cooperation between Asian countries and enhancing their role in the global economy. The Crown Prince affirmed the success of the second Aegean cooperation dialogue held recently in Thailand, stating Thailand's role in expanding opportunities for cooperation. His Royal Highness expressed condolences to the government and the people of Thailand on the passing of the late King Bohimbul Adol Yadij. He asserted his support to the ambassador in his diplomatic duties, wishing him success in his new role. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks to His Royal Highness for his interest in enhancing the two countries' relations. Royal Guard Commander Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Isa Air Base this evening in the presence of Royal Guard Special Force Commander Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa a number of BDF soldiers from duty force who participated in the Restoring Hope operation in Yemen. During the reception, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to the soldiers for their loyal efforts supporting the Saudi-led coalition that fights for legitimacy in Yemen, commending their noble and brave sacrifices. The reception was attended by a number of senior BDF officers and the participants' families.
Al-Shura Council held its second hearing of the opening ceremony of the first session of the fourth legislative term under the chairmanship of Mr. Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The session started with a formation of a committee to respond to the royal speech suggested by the council office. The special elections were conducted by forming the council standing committees, which are Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee, Services Committee, Finance and Economic Committee, Public Utilities and Environment Committee, Legal and Legislative Affairs Committee, in addition to subcommittees. After the formation of the Shura Committees, the Council will carry out its legislative duties according to the Bahraini Constitution. The 2017-2018 public budget came at the top of both the Parliament's Chamber's priority list in the current session. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received today Interior Security Minister of India Rajan Nah Singh. The ministers held discussions on security cooperation and coordination, exchange expertise, find ways to bolster joint action, in addition to discussions on the region's security and stability. The first Bahrain India Security Committee meeting will also be held on the sideline of the visit based on the agreement signed last December in India regarding combating international terrorism, crime, drugs, and other issues issues of common concern. The agreement also includes cooperation in the fields of scientific research and technology and the use of these technologies in combating different types of crimes. Interior Security Minister of India expressed appreciation to the Interior Minister for the generous hosting, praising the bilateral deep historic relations and the continuous progress it witnesses. The seventh Gulf School Theatres Festival under the theme, A Gulf That Brings Us Together, a theater that unites us, has been inaugurated in the presence of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al naimi The General Manager of the Arab Bureau of Education for the Gulf States, the A. Biggs, Dr. Ali al garni and education delegations from the GCC. The festival will include a number of school plays and will celebrate a number of Gulf School Plays elite who will host intellectual seminars where they will discuss their experiences and visions. During his speech at the opening ceremony, Dr. Naimi welcomed the audience to Bahrain and affirmed his pride in hosting this event in the kingdom for this year. He stated that this festival enhances GCC joint cooperation in the fields of education, art and culture. He pointed out the ministry's keen interest in supporting theatrical activities among its efforts to implement various school activities for students, which coincides with the expansion of citizenship and human rights promoting schools projects. The minister noted the positive role of the theater in reinforcing the students' Islamic and patriotic values and developing their linguistic skills. He lauded the efforts of ABEGS and the Arab Theater Authority, the ATA, as main supporters of the event. For his part, ABIG's general manager delivered a speech in which he commended the Bahrain support of the joint Gulf educational initiatives. The representative of ATA, Ghanam Al Ghanam, affirmed that this festival is considered a chance to exchange educational, artistic, and cultural expertise between Gulf countries. A number of Gulf theater pioneers were honored, including student Munira Al Shomeli from Al Uruba Schools Elementary School, who is visually impaired for her contribution in executing a school play in Braille. The Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Waqf Judicial and Legal Studies Institute, with the cooperation of the Supreme Council for Women, have organized a seminar titled Meeting of Pioneers and Hopefuls. Attended by the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Waqf, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, the seminar brought together a number of Bahraini women pioneers who are the first in the field of legal and forensic work in their generation of working women. That was in the frame of events associated with the Bahraini Women Day this year that particularly celebrated women in the legal and forensic field. 
السي دبليو فايس بريزيدنت شيخ مريم بنت حسن ال خليفه افيرم ذات ذا كينجدوم اوف بحرين واز بروجريسنج تووردز امباورينج وومن ان ذا ليجل اند فورنسيك فيلدز وذ ا سبورتيف بوليتيكال ويل اند ا سوسايتي اوبن تووردز ايديوكيتينج اند سبورتينج وومن شي اولسو اكسبريسد هير اوبتيميزم تووردز اتشيفينج مور سكسس ان بوث فيلدز The vice president drew attention to the fact that the Bahraini society, especially Bahraini men, encourage women to educate themselves and enter challenging majors such as law and legal studies. She also explained that there is no constitutional or legal obstacle that impedes with women's progress, for she has equality with men and is able to develop legislative systems and reach the highest positions in legal and forensic institutions in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa participated in a peace ceremony held at the Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna yesterday in the presence of Archduke Sandra from Habsburg and Archduchess Hertha Margarete, as well as the accompanying Bahrain delegation and distinguished guests. The ceremony highlighted the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in reinforcing and promoting peace in the world. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he conveyed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's greetings to the attendants. He hailed the noble objectives of the Austrian Association for the furtherance of peace and the Flame of Peace Award, stressing that the world faces serious challenges that require uniting all efforts in order to achieve security and stability. He added that granting His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the Flame of Peace Award reinforces Bahrain's position as a model of coexistence and fraternity. He noted that Bahrain is committed to continuing working to achieve peace and stability in the region and the world, adding that the Flame of Peace statue, which was established in Bahrain National Museum, reaffirms that. For their part, Archduke Sander from Habsburg and Archduchess Hertha Marguerite expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts in advocating peace as a key factor for sustainable development, wishing the kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. The ceremony included musical performances and the organizers introduced Bahrain women's national football team players who are currently in a training camp in Vienna to the audience. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa greeted the players on the stage, stressing that the players have demonstrated a positive picture of Bahrain, conveyed its message of peace and coexistence between different people. On behalf of the team, Sheikh Dawa bin Khalid Al Khalifa expressed congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for receiving the Golden Star Award in recognition for his efforts in supporting peace on the international level. She also thanked Archduke Sander from Habsburg and Archduchess Hertha Marguerite as well as the Austrian Association for the Furtherance of Peace for their support to Bahrain training camp in Vienna. The Chief Executive Officer of King Hamad University Hospital, Major General Dr. Salman bin Atiyatullah Al Khalifa, has announced the inauguration of HOPE, 
an advanced health information system developed by Bahraini staff in a short amount of time and at a low cost of 20,000 BD. He also stated in a press conference that uh, the hospital has signed a contract with a foreign company in 2011 in order to develop a comprehensive healthcare system in the span of two years at a cost of 5,600,000 Bahraini dinar. Dr. Al Khalifa added that after the trial of other systems, it was decided on the 25th of August 2015 to initialize the implementation of the health information system for it to be generalized afterwards on the remaining departments. He also affirmed that the aim of the system is to create a single medical file for each citizen that would be accessible to all hospitals with the patient's consent, thus creating easy access to patients' medical history. The major general doctor expressed King Hamad Hospital's readiness to implement the system in other hospitals, asserting the marketability of the system locally and internationally. He also noted that al Samani Hospital praised the system and that Mohammed bin Khalifa Cardiac Center as well as other private hospitals have shown interest to adopt Hope Health Information System. Assistant Undersecretary of Policies and Housing Services Dr. Khaled al haydan stated that the Ministry of Housing has finished distributing the certificates of merit to beneficiaries of the second stage of the North City Units distribu distribution in the frame of its timetable to distribute 3,200 additional housing units in fulfillment of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa's decree. Assistant Undersecretary noted that the distribution of certificates of merit represents the first stage of the housing project's distribution procedures, where the second stage consists of electronic withdrawals of the project and progress percentages. Marking the World Day of Polio, Ministry of Health affirmed that it had not recorded any cases of poliomyelitis since 1993. The ministry affirmed that it follows the global polio eradication and engage in game strategic plan, noting that the Bahrain's achievements are evident locally, regionally, and internationally. It added that it has followed the latest plans and programs and provided the most effective preventative services to eliminate the various infection diseases. The epidemiology and surveillance program, which aims to detect all cases that may be infected of polio through taking the necessary lab tests, is one of the solutions that the ministry is using. The ministry's efforts have resulted in an increase in the percentage of polio vaccination of more than 95 percent from 1975 until now. Bahrain Al Shira Index has closed at 1,147.43 points, falling 4.42 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investment, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 54% of total shares. 29 transactions included 922,942 shares, worth 214,208 BD.